Hi everyone, welcome back to the Divine Healing with Love channel. I am Nicole. I'm so grateful to have you here with me today. I'm so grateful. I'm just so overwhelmed with gratitude for all of you, for all of your love, support, supporting the channel, being present, liking the videos, subscribing, commenting, showing up for yourself, doing the work, learning more about yourself, being present, being here. I'm just so grateful. I'm grateful for all of you. Thank you all so much. This is healing for you. It's healing for me. I'm so grateful that I could be here with you to be of service, to help you on your journey. I mean, I'm just, every time, every time, I'm just so grateful. I'm so grateful. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So today is a special day. It's 2-2-2-2-2. Two, two. I don't think I left a two out. I don't know. But it's a magical day. So today's message, we're going to talk about who is plotting against you. Who's plotting against you? What do you need to know? I mean, you know, these readings could seem low vibrational, but sometimes you just got to know what the hell is going on. Okay. Who's around you? Who's what they're doing, can you trust these people who's trying to come against you to cause you pain or harm or what is their agenda, what is their angle? You need to know what's going on. So for power one, we have change. Okay, power two, we have high honor. And how three we have courthouse. Okay, so here we go. I'm switch it around. I don't know. I get confused every time. Okay, how one? No, sorry. How one? How two? How three? How one? Pile two and pile three. If you feel led to pick more than one pile, that's fine too. Use your intuition. There are no rules here. Timestamps will be linked below. Thank you all so much, and I will see you in your reading. Power One, welcome to your reading. Thank you all so much for being here with me today. Welcome back to the Capital L-O-V-E tribe. Welcome to the new subscribers. Thank you all so much. I'm so grateful for all of your love and support. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, let's get into it. Power One, you chose this card, Change. Who's plotting? against you. This is someone who hold on a second, I'm just getting messages. This is someone who Many of you have known this person for a while, okay? This is someone who has seen you grow. This is someone who has seen you glow up. This is someone who has seen you transform. This person is not happy with your transformation. This person, you probably have known this person for, I'm hearing 20 years. I'm hearing 10 years, 15 this person knew you when you were not as confident. Maybe you didn't have, a, you know, the amount of money that you have now. This person knew you when 
you were just in a different place in your life. I'm feeling for many of you, you weren't as confident, you weren't as um, as far along in your career, you weren't as, um, because some of you like own a business and stuff like that, like your life has completely changed, okay? You have completely transformed your life, you've completely changed a lot of things in your life. For some of you, this could be a male, okay? This definitely could be a masculine because we see, and if it's not a man, it could be a masculine energy. You see that man in the background? This person could be older. This person you could have known for nine years. This person could be older than you. For some of you, this is an ex. This person is very threatened and upset about your glow up. This person is talking about you. They're talking to a lot of different people about you. Um, people ask this person things about you. And this person, really, they're excited to, they, they're excited when they get asked about you. For some of you, like, this could be, like I said, an ex, okay? This could be someone who you were involved with romantically or could have been someone that you grew up with that you were very close with, friends with, and this person has seen you grow, grow and change and transform. And they feel left behind. They feel like you're leaving them behind. They feel like you're not the same as you used to be. This person enjoys talking about you. It's almost like for some of you, I'm getting this energy. It's kind of like, it's kind of like they love you but it's, it's like, it's twisted. It's like they're in love with you, but they're also, I don't wanna say, okay, the title of this video is Plotting Against You, right? This person feels like they're not exactly plotting against you, but they want you to need them. Like they want you to need them badly. They don't want you to be as independent or not needing them. Like I said, some of you may have been romantically linked to this person. It could have been a romantic situationship or, you know, just sex or whatever. This feels like an ex. This feels like someone you were romantically linked with. And it doesn't have to be a man. It could be a woman. But this person, they kind of, they have masculine energy though. Okay, so I'm definitely getting masculine energy. This person, they just feel like that you used to need them for everything. This person needs to be needed. They need that validation. They need to be needed. They need to be affirmed in that way. That's how they feel value. Okay, that's how they feel a sense of worth. This person doesn't feel worthy if people don't need them. This is how this person feels. So if they don't feel like they're needed, they don't feel that value, okay? And so maybe you needed this person a lot. You know, I feel like maybe you work with this person on things. You may have collaborated with this person. You may have, um, like I said, I'm hearing like work, collaboration, projects. Maybe you created things with this person. And so now you're doing your own thing and you're shining and you're transforming and you're really growing rapidly. Some of you are really growing very fast. Maybe this could have been your boss. Um, yeah, I'm hearing that for some of you, this could have been your boss or a supervisor, some type of, um, you know, authority figure in your line of work as well. So it's like, they have a lot of love for you, but it's also this envy and this jealousy and this anger at you progressing so rapidly without them. So some of you like, I'll just cry them out. for some of you, they feel like, you know, you owe them. Like you owe them a lot. Like you owe them your success. This is the thing for some of you, they feel like, and we're going to get to what they're, what they're saying, what they're doing, what they're plotting. We're going to get to that in a second. But it's like this, and I hear all this noise, and this noise was not, when I was getting ready to come on, I didn't hear any noise. This person's talking a lot of shit. This person, in fact, they get excited when people ask about you, because apparently you're a big deal, 
or in, you know, and within this group, you're a big deal. You're a huge deal. Pawan. I just have to say you're a huge deal. So a lot of people bring you up to this person. Okay. Like you constantly come up. People are always like, what's going on? What's going on with Pal One? What are they getting into? Because they think that this person is still very into whatever you have going on. Like, you know, they would know, you know what I'm saying? Because people are very curious about you, Pal One, whatever it is you're doing, whatever it is you're doing for work or whatever. And they feel like this person, they have the info on whatever it is you have going on or this person, you know, they're connected to you in that way. So when they bring you up, listen, this person loves to talk shit. <laughs> this person, they be talking shit. Like, it's so much chatter. I don't know if you guys can hear this noise. They're like doing some renovations. It's nonstop. They don't stop talking about you. And they love it. They love to talk about you. It's like they get excited when you get bought up. It's like, I don't know, it's weird. I don't, yeah, this person, listen, this person like loves you. I don't, they have like a lot of love for you. It's like this twisted energy. They have a lot of love for you, but they feel like you don't love them. And this is what bothers them. They feel like you don't have that love for them. Like I said, for some of you, this could be definitely be an ex. Maybe you work with this ex or something. And they're like still in love with you. They're still there. They're still really stuck. Even if you, it was just like a situationship or hookup, whatever. This person is in love with you. You know, they love you. They have a lot of love for you, but they feel like you don't love them. Queen of Cups in reverse. They feel like the love, you know, that you have for them is gone. And this person, they feel like you've gone away. And they don't know what to do now. Six of Swords in reverse. Let's see. What are they plotting against? What are they trying to do? I feel like this person is really like they're plotting against your character. Like they're they're trying to get people to believe. Like whatever it is, like I said, you're a big deal, Palwan. Okay? You're you're amazing. And people see this, like people see you transforming, people see you growing, people see you doing some different things, whatever it is you have going on. And so people are looking at you with admiration and with love. You know, people are looking at the things that you're doing and they like it. Maybe, you know, you're in the public spotlight. Maybe you have a social media presence, whatever it is that you're doing, people are talking about this. And so this person Again, they love to talk shit and they're talking shit like you're not trustworthy, you lie, um, you're a cheater. That's what I just heard. I don't know. Like I said, maybe some of you were romantically linked with this person. You're a cheater. You're a liar. You're not trustworthy. You can't be trusted with money. You don't know what to do with your money. You can't be trusted with finances. You don't know how to make decisions. People, you have a lot of yes people around you. You have a lot of people kissing your ass. You have a lot of people... You see all of this? This is all the shit that they're talking. Um, what else are they saying? You don't know how to control your family or you don't have any control over your family. You don't know how to hold a family together. You don't know how to be a good spouse. You're not a good mate. You're Again, it's a lot of things around you're not this and you're not that. And definitely, like, you're not trustworthy. People can't trust you. You're a liar. For some of you, they're saying you're alcoholic. For some of you, they're saying, you know, you have a drug issue. You're too dependent on drugs. I'm hearing sex addiction. This person, like I said, they're talking shit. They're talking a lot of shit. Let's see what else is going on here? Um, this person, okay, let me get the signs out as well. So this person, I'm hearing Capricorn. I'm hearing Sagittarius. I'm hearing, what else am I saying? Pisces. Cancer. Leo. Okay, those are the signs that I'm getting. Let's see, what else? So this person, yeah. This person is like this. They're plotting against whatever it is that you're trying to do. For some of you, you have big deals coming in, okay? Like you have big deals coming in. For some of you, this person, like I said, this is 
for some of you, this could definitely be someone you work with or someone you did business with because it seems to be whatever this is going on, this person is still connected somehow intertwined within your businesses or your career or your job because this person is trying to sabotage a business deal or career move or if you're trying to be promoted they're trying to sabotage you. They Again, they're on this, I'm hearing campaign. They're on a campaign, smear campaign to try to get people to, you know, recognize that you're not who you present yourself to be. They're really coming for your character. Maybe you're in a, you know, some type of career where, of course, with any career, trust is important, right? That's paramount. People want to be able to trust you. So they're going after your character. They're trying to chip away at how people view you and how people see you. And trust seems to be a big thing. Like you cannot trust this person. This person is unstable. They're um, too all over the place. This, for some of you, if you've had mental health issues and this person knew about this, they're saying shit like that. Like there's, they're saying shit about your mental health. Like you deal with depression too much. You're unstable. And it's like, when I tell you this person could be a lawyer, I don't know. I'm not saying that they are a lawyer, but they definitely, I'm like what I'm seeing and hearing. It's like this person almost has like a presentation together. This person is talking big shit, man. Like I'm like, how this person got so much damn time on their hands? So it's like this, they literally have, they literally have bullet points. Like they have a list of things that they can go to. So they're like, okay, if this person calls me, I'm gonna say this. For some of you, they know like they're talking to your business partners or your coworkers. They know some of the moves that you're trying to make. So if somebody within, is somebody closely connected for some of you? This is definitely, for some of you, this is definitely karmic, karma. This could be a soulmate. Doesn't mean that, you know, you don't have karma to clear. That's going to be the next video that I do. I may do that after this video. It doesn't mean you don't have karma to clear with this person. This person could definitely be a soulmate because we have the world here. This is very karmic, what's happening. I'm hearing that this is some karmic debt that hasn't been settled. From past lives. Uh, for some of you, it could have been a situation where it was like you were with this person, friends or whatever was going on, situationship. And then it was like, once it was over, it got really bad. Like, it was almost like you felt like you didn't know this person anymore. You know, this person just completely switched the script. They completely changed. They really turn into a different person this is a part of this like um this karmic debt that needs to be settled okay this is this person really showing who they really are what you're seeing right now is this person showing who they really are i'm hearing the initials j i'm hearing the initials p i'm hearing the initials c i'm hearing the initials s i'm hearing r i'm hearing d and a this person we have here, the world, for whatever reason, a lot of people view this person as a very trustworthy figure. This person has a reputation of trust. People trust this person. But what this person is doing, they're manipulating people. This is a master manipulator here. This person is a master manipulator. They're trying to get you out of... Everything that they're trying to do, they're trying to sabotage any type of career moves or business dealings that you have or anything. They don't care about like your friendships or like personal relationships. For some of you, they do. They want you to be with them. Like if this is an ex, they want to have you still with them. This person is trying to plot against your money, your pocketbook, because they want you to need them. For some of you, maybe you used to work with this person and this person saw a lot of success with you working with them and you moved away, you did your own thing. So now it's like they want to sabotage you so you could come back to them. So you guys can work together again or create something or whatever it is so they can have their success. This person's a master manipulator. This person grew up, for some of you, they grew up in poor circumstances, like I'm hearing the projects and stuff like that. They grew up in low-income housing. And so this person used to plot. 
plot every single night. Nobody knows this about this person. I'm really tapping in now. This person used to plot every single night how to get out, right? So this person, they got out. They got out of that situation where their parents were divorced. It was something like that. Either their parents, for some of you, this could be more than one person. So you take what resonates. Their parents were divorced or their parents, it was a rough situation where they grew up in low income, um, housing, stuff like that. So they plotted. This person knows how to get out of a paper bag. They can get out of anything. This person sits up at night and plots. They are a master manipulator. They want to be on top. Maybe you superseded them. Maybe people don't talk about them anymore and they need you to shine. You know, they want to, for some of you, they're trying to create drama to get you engaged and whatever it is that they have going on. Like I said, this person is a master manipulator. We have the Nine of Cups. But see, this is the thing. For some of you, like I said, this is a romantic person, a person you used to be romantic with, and they still want to come back to you and like, you know, get romantic with you or try to pull you back in. Maybe they want sex. For some of you, they could be like stealing your energy. Okay. You know, that's a thing. They could be stealing your energy and it could have been done sexually. Whatever this person is, they're definitely way like don't underestimate this person this person may come off as if you know they don't know this and that bullshit they know a lot don't underestimate them master manipulator here they know how to manipulate almost anyone but i feel like they don't know how to manipulate you or it's just something about you maybe it's like your light because this person is really dark this person goes back and forth like they could do like really good things and then they come back and they do really shitty things they're back and forth they don't know which side they want to be on. So we pray for them. You know, pray for people like that. Okay, what else? Great fortune. See, this is, again, your money. This is what they're coming for. They're plotting against your money. They see you being very abundant, and you're doing it without them. Bottom line. And then my phone just went off. Confirmation. So for some of you... This person may be sending you a message. Okay. Again, this noise. This person could be sending you a message. They could be trying to, again, if this person contacts you, don't believe anything that they have to say. This person is going to try to manipulate you, manipulate the situation because they want to take from you, whether it's stealing your energy whether it's getting you to come back to them, they're trying to plot against your money. If they try to contact you, don't trust anything that they have to say. For some of you, this person is going to contact you and they're going to say to you that something about a business deal, something about something didn't go through and they've got the, you know, they've got the, the T on it, right? They, they know why it didn't go through and they need to enlighten you. Like basically they're going to try to say to you like, oh, let me put you on game. Okay. Don't believe anything that this person has to say. Master manipulator. This person cannot be trusted. I'm telling you. And this person is dangerous. For some of you, this person has a family. Like, you know, they have their own children or, you know, whatever the situation is. And it's a lot of secrets within their family. Or this person has a lot of secrets. Maybe you know some of their secrets and they don't want this stuff out. So they still try to keep you in a certain place. Because if you know their secrets or you have some secrets on them, they don't know what you're going to do. And they can't risk their reputation. So they still try to keep you at a place where they feel like they can control you. This person may have controlled you back in, you know, in the past. It may have felt like, you know, they had like a lot of control and now they feel like they can't control you and they don't know what you're going to say and what you're going to do. But I feel like you're not even worried about this person. Like you're focused on your bag. Like you don't care. But this person is very consumed. Honestly, they're obsessed with you. If we're going to be honest. Okay. These are the messages for you in perfect harmony. So right now you're in alignment. Things that are happening right now, you're in perfect harmony. Okay. For some of you, this person is into music. They're into music or they're in the music industry or, you know, they're a musician or something like that. Or they're trying to be a musician. I don't know. That just came up, though. So you are in harmony and in alignment with whatever it is that you're here to do. Your purpose, 
everything that's happening right now in your life is harmonious or moving into this, even if it doesn't seem like it. Things are getting ready to change. Again, you're going through a huge transformation. So things are aligning and they're shifting. They're shifting so, excuse me, things are shifting to come together for your highest good, okay? So things that are happening right now, your money is getting ready to be aligned. You're going to have more money because now that you know that this person, what they're trying to do, you probably already know. I feel like you already know. I feel like you know who this is. For some reason, there's multiple people. You probably know this. Comment below. But this person can't stop this. But now you know. You just stay focused on the prize. But they can't stop it. A tall tale. So this is what I'm saying. This person has been spreading lies about you. We know this. Don't fall for it. People that you know are acting different or like, you know, oh, I heard this and that about you. You know, just dispel it. It's not true. What you've been hearing is not true. You don't even have to explain yourself. It's just that you know now. You know what this person is doing or these people are doing. So you can act accordingly. Because that's what this reading is for. So you can move on your journey accordingly. You already know this is confirmation. So keep doing what you're doing. Keep being in alignment with your purpose, your goals, your mission. You are doing it. You are a big deal. Walk in that favor. You're very protected. You don't have to worry about this person. Just know that they are a master manipulator and they will try anything. So I really hope that helps. Power one. Thank you all so much for being here with me. Please like the video. If no one told you that they love you today, I love you. Thank you so much. Please like the video. Comment below. Let me know how this resonated. If you don't want to let me know how this resonated, just drop a red heart. I would be so grateful for that. Subscribe. Join the Capital All of the Tribe. Share the video. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time. Hi, Pal2. Welcome to your reading. Thank you all so much for being here with me today. Welcome back to the Capital LLVE Tribe. Thank you all so much. I'm so grateful to have you here with me today. Thank you. Thank you. I hope you're well. Let's get into it, Pal2. You pick this card. High honor. Who is plotting against Pal2? This person, I'm getting masculine energy again. I don't know why I feel like I'll let you know, but some of you may need to watch Pile One, but I'll let you know as we go along. This person, this person could be in the military or could have been in the military. This person, um, if they, they haven't served in the military, they could be a police officer or um, this person is very well respected. Whatever it is that they do, their career, they are very well respected, okay? Um, people hold this person in high regard. Like, it doesn't matter whatever their career is. People look at this person. It could be in a leadership position, authority, um, this person, again, is very well respected, okay? So, you know, and people, this person is well known. So it could be like in the community or, you know, they could have a public platform, social media presence. People know this person and they really respect this person. This person is definitely a huge shapeshifter. People don't know who this person really is. They don't know this person on a deeper level. Like they don't know the real them. This person is the type of person they only show. This person claims to be so vulnerable and transparent, but they're really not, okay? This person's full of shit. I just have to say it. They're full of shit and they lie a lot. Huge liar. This person is the type of person, I'm sorry, I just gotta say this person's trash. I have to say it. And you know what? And I don't, and I don't like saying that about people. I really don't, but I gotta call it like I see it trash like this person this person does things like a serious con 
This is a con artist. This is a manipulator. This is a con artist. This is a person that knows how to shape shit very well. One minute they're redeeming, seeming like a good person, honest, dutiful, you know, like noble, like, wow, you know, like, mm -hmm, this person, yeah, I can get behind this. But this person, like, they disrespect people. They speak very, like, they have an issue with women. They have a huge issue with women. They have a huge mother wound. For some of you, their mother may be gay or may have been gay or something like that. They have a huge issue with women. This person may be married, but they, they like, they really hate women. This person is not, I'm sorry, they're not a, I don't want to say these things, but they're not a good person. Like, they're not. People think that they are. For some of you, people think this person is a god. Like, people really fuck with this person. They fuck with this person heavy. For some of you, this person could have been in the streets. Like, they could have sold drugs. You know, they they claim to be about that life. This person's a liar. I just, listen, this person lies. Like, this person claimed they killed somebody. This person's a fucking liar. And I don't know why I'm getting burnt up. <laughs> like, I know this person. Like, I'm getting burnt up over here. This person is a liar. Like, they lie. They lie for sport. They lie for fun. And it's like, they have to so many people around them, like, who kiss their ass. So these people, like, you know, like, these people knew them from childhood or some shit. So these people, like, confirm these stories, which are... It's full of shit. Like, nobody saw this. Like, nobody really... This person lies. Huge liar. Huge master manipulator. Yes, some of you go back, watch Pile 1, okay? If you're vibing with this, you may have messages on Pile 1. This person is a huge liar. Huge shapeshifter. They know how to, like, shift. Like, this person has just, like, a lot of self-hate. Like, they don't like the way they look. Maybe they're not attractive. Or like people don't feel like they are attracted but because this person is really good with words this person is like a wordsmith they're very smart you know they're very smart they read a lot they study a lot because again this is them shape-shifting they have to like they read a lot because they have to compensate for their looks no shame no tea but it's true okay this person had to do things to compensate they're not they're not attractive like everyone is beautiful but when you are doing a lot of, you know, that low vibrational energy, you're not going to be attractive. When you do a lot of dark things, you're not going to be attractive. Everyone has their own beauty. But this person does a lot of horrible things and people don't know. Like, people don't know the real person. They see this person and this person is very well respected. Like, people are even afraid of this person. But this person is really a fucking joke. Like, this person is a joke. <laughs> like, I'm laughing. Like, I'm really, like, y'all really, like, this person, like, I See right through this person. Clearly. Like this person's a joke. But people, listen, people go hard for this person. I don't know who this is. People go hard. Like they're like, oh my god, let me pull this I mean, people will be on this person. Like, this person could be in the spotlight. I don't know. I'm not gonna lie. Like, people will be on this person. Like, this person has a lot of clout. People, I don't know. God, this person's such a liar, though. This person didn't kill nobody. This person's a joke. Like, this person said they stabbed somebody? Okay. Let's stab shit. <laughs> you lying. Like, anyway, let me call focus. So, this person, what are they doing? What are they plotting against? What are they, what do you need to know? Because this person, I feel like this person's very, for some of you, okay. For some of you, this person like wanted to be you or wanted to be like you. Yeah, this person. Okay, for some of you, this person wanted to be like you or they're jealous of you. They're jealous of your abilities. For some of you, this person works in the same industry as you. Like whatever you do, your career, this person does the same thing. So they wanted to like be you. They wanted to um, listen. This person, this person is shape shift again. Okay, this person is very competitive, very jealous. Whatever it is that you do, they feel like you do better. 
whatever this career is. They're in your same industry. You may work with this person or you may have worked with this person. So they feel like you one up them on everything. So this person studies you. They study your movements. They study your patterns. They, they study the, your language, the way you talk, the way you dress, everything about you. And they try to recreate it, but it's not authentic because this person doesn't have their own identity. This person, like I said, they shape shit. Anything you see is not real. This person has learned the gift. Listen, this person knew how to shape shift at a very young age. They had to learn. This person is an old soul too. Like this is very karmic. You and this person have had many past lives together. You and this person have been adversaries, many past lives. You may have even been brothers or sisters, many past lives. Okay. You and this person have a lot of karmic debt. You know, you and this person may have a lot of similarities, you know, may have had a, you know, because like I said, you, you and this person are in the same industry. This person has a lot of anxiety. This person has, listen, this person, they have a lot of issues. People don't know. Like, people do not know this real person. They do not know. This person, they come off, you know, they have like a family or something like that. They may even be married. They come off as charming and like, you know, I don't know, like they completely redid their whole life and they leveled up, you know, they may have a lot of money or something like that or, you know, nice home and stuff. And people just think that this person, you know, is just the best thing since sliced bread, but they don't really know this real person. But you do, like you may know this person, the real deal, and you may have, this person has bad anxiety. This person stays up at night thinking about you. This person's a sicko. This person stays up at night thinking about you and like what you're doing. This person has obsessive tendencies. Um, very obsessive. If this person is married, like they're not happy in their marriage. They're not happy in their life. They feel confined. They feel stuck. This person is searching for drama. This person loves drama. This person like watches soap operas or like dramatic ass movies like they hate women but they like watching like women type shows okay but they hate women it's very it's very strange for many of you i feel like this is a man but it could be a woman but with just very strong masculine energy but i feel like this is a man like this person let me get the signs okay let me get the signs it could be gemini this person's anxiety god it could be taurus it could be capricorn I'm hearing Sagittarius and I'm hearing Aquarius. Let me see if I have initials. This person has really bad anxiety. Like they, their legs probably shake. This person barely sleeps at night. They don't get a lot of rest. This person is not aging well. I'm hearing they were not, you know, that attractive. Like we already went over that, but they're really not aging well. And they have a lot of anxiety. This person feels like they're afraid of like losing money or like losing fame or like losing their place like i said for some of you this person could have a platform so this person is afraid of like are they gonna lose out you know but the thing is with you they feel like they feel like you always one up them and they're so afraid of losing their spot whatever it is you know within the company or the business or whatever it is that you all do it's like they're afraid you're going to take over or they're afraid that people won't acknowledge them anymore, talk about them. This person, like, they talk to people. They want to find out more information about who you're dating because for some of you, I don't feel like maybe you're not in a relationship or maybe you are in a relationship and this person, they ask people about you, okay? They ask, like, who are you dating? Who are you in a relationship with? Because they want to know who you're dating because they want to, like, mess with that or manipulate or talk to the person you're dating or something like that but i feel like this person's like married with kids and this person's just not happy this is the type of person you know they're probably posting all this stuff on social media like they're so happy but they're not so this person i feel like is in love with you or it's just like this sick twisted love situation with this person you know this could be an ex for some of you watch Power One, okay, this could be an ex, it doesn't have to be. This person thinks about you at night, they think about you 
what you're doing, who you're with. They really want to know who you're having sex with. I feel like this person just has some really strange things that they think about. Like, they may pleasure themselves to you. I'm not trying to gross you out, but this person has some weird something's up. And again, like nobody really knows this. This person, like they're not happy in their marriage. Like if they're married to a woman, this woman cannot please them. They cheat on this woman. You know, if they're married to whoever they're married to, they cheat on their spouse. If a man, a woman, it doesn't matter. They cheat. They cheat. They lie. Like this person does it all. Okay. Um, they're watching you. Page of Swords, it's, it's in reverse, but whatever. They're watching you. They're paying very close attention to you. They're watching your every move. For some of you, they're very closely connected. Like I said, this is the same um, field of work. So they're very closely connected to the people. They like you, you all know the same people. Okay. It's very connected. So this person, if you like, if I don't know, it's like work events or whatever, this person like takes certain people to the side and it's like, What's going on with how to? What's up with how to? You know, they're very curious about you and your love life. It's something there with your love life. That's why I said this person could be in love with you. Okay, so it's something weird about your love life. Queen of Pentacles, this is what I'm saying. So they're coming after your money. They're coming after your money and your spouse. I just have to say it. Whoever it is that you're dating or involved with or doesn't matter. Married to, you could be married. This person has their eye on you and your spouse. This is very karmic. I feel like if you identify as an old soul, this person is definitely an old soul. But if you identify as an old soul too, it's something here. Like with your person that you're married to or you're, you know, dating or whatever, this person knows this person too. Like soul. You know what I mean? Like the souls know each other. Doesn't matter what the body is or what the makeup is, it's like time. These souls know each other, so it's something here, something karmic around that. And this person is obsessed, like they're obsessed with you and your person. Okay. And this person, I don't know why this person is just like, ugh, like their energy. Ugh. I'm telling you, oh, I'm about to sage after this guy. Like this, oh. Okay, what are they plotting? And see, I'm hearing all this noise. What are they plotting against? Let's see. Okay. It's something very, okay, listen. It's something very karmic for many of you. This is very karmic. This person is plotting against, if you're in a relationship, they're plotting against your relationship. Okay? It's something, maybe you could be divorced or you could be going through a divorce or... This person, if they know who you're dating, it's just going to, whatever storyline fits for you, this person is plotting against you and your relationship. Like this person, again, maybe because they're in love with you, I don't know, but they're plotting against, like they don't want to see you happy. They don't want to see you in a healthy, happy relationship. So they're very curious. If they don't know, like if you're single and, you know, you're just dating, they're very, they have their eye, like I'm, I'm seeing a hawk. Like, they are very closely watching, like, who are you connecting with? Who are you dating? Who who are you in a relationship with? They want to break this up. I'm going to clarify that because it's almost like with this message here, it's almost like, I don't know. Like, it's just weird because this person, their energy, like, they continue. They have been shape-shifting this whole reading, Okay. They continue to shape shift, move. This person has bad anxiety too. I think I said that already. This person just continues to keep pivoting. They know how to pivot so well. This is just like a real, I don't know. Ugh. Yeah, see this is again courtship. It's like they're plotting against your relationship or whoever you're dating. It's something there. It's something that they want or something that they don't want to see you happy. They don't want to see you um, successful. That's what it is. They don't want to see you successful. Maybe you and this person or, you know, you and your person, maybe you're a power couple or you're very successful together or this person, they see you will be successful with someone. It's something like that. Like they're really plotting against this. 
Yes, it's a soulmate. Six of Cups. For some of you, they may have helped to break up your relationship. Ace of Swords. They're very, this is what I'm saying. This is them at night. Thinking about you, thinking about who you're dating, who you're with. This person, listen, they have a scary side. I mean, yeah, really, they don't, really, they're like a punk. Like, they didn't really do all the stuff they did. But they have a scary side with energy. Like, this person is very, they're old soul. I know how to manipulate energy very well, okay? They know how to work energy very well. That's what they know how to do. Physically, they don't really do anything. They just talk a lot. But energy manipulation, this person is very good at that. Don't underestimate this person. This person is very good at that. This is very karmic. This person, they're so afraid of losing. It's something about a war. Like you and this person may have been in war adversaries in war and you know past lives like battles this person is like and they're constantly plotting like like i feel like this person has a whole life like people probably feel like oh this person's so busy this person has the best life ever this person has such a full life but they're really they're so concerned about you and other people it's not just you it's other people on this list as well Mary and they have five people on their list have people who they're like, they want to make sure they keep these people in their place because this person cannot lose. Like, they will not lose. And they're going to keep this thing going. They just have trash energy. I just, oh, let's see this stuff on my card. Oh, oh, God. All right, what do you, what do you need to know? Let's get this. Sorry, we're about to end this reading. I can't take this person's energy anymore. It's just trash. Like, and I don't even talk like that. I really don't. Like, if you've been watching my channel, I really don't talk like this. This person, I just have to say it. Okay, so this is about you. You have to see things from a higher perspective. At least see here. Is that a hawk? I don't know. An owl? I don't know. This is about you using your intuition, especially like if you're friends with this person. I don't, I'm not getting friends, but I'm definitely getting colleague. Like this person is a colleague, but friendly, probably are friendly with this person. But I feel like you know, like I feel like you know with this person, like what they're doing. Or like, you may not know all of this, but you knew you got that vibe from this person. This person is very competitive, extremely competitive. They don't want to lose. And they feel like they will lose to you. They feel like you will take them down. You have the power to take them down. And this person is very obsessed with war. They're very obsessed with history. This person reads a lot about these things. They know how to manipulate energy very well, okay? This is like magician energy. This person knows that very well. So you have to see things from a higher perspective. This is about you trusting your intuition, trusting what you see and keeping your eyes open, protecting your relationship, your marriage or whatever the situation is, or your, excuse me. See, again, this person doesn't want me to talk. This person doesn't want me to talk. Protect it. Protect your relationships. Protect your private romantic life. Because whatever it is that you and your person are doing or can do or the potential, this person, see, okay, this is getting ready to get really deep. This person... When I tell you they shape shift, they shape shift to future timelines. This is deep. This is, I really want you to get this. You may have to watch this again because I've really dropped a lot of information here in this pile. This person shape shifts to future timelines. They astrally project like shit. They know. They've been doing it for years. This is a very old soul. They know how the things in the universe works. They may act like they don't. They may, I don't know, because this person shapeshifts. So this person, they they move, they actually project into future timelines to manipulate, to come back here to the present. And I just saw two, 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 to come back here to the present to manipulate things in their favor. This is for the dark, though. This is darkness. This is dark energy. This stuff never, even if you have a good run, it's never going to survive. It's never. It's not because you're not working for, you're not working for the light. 
You're not working for the highest good of all. Okay, you're not following the higher power. You feel like you are the higher power, you know? So this person won't be successful. Even if they have been successful, it's going to come to an end. But this is what I'm saying. They actually project to future timelines to like know what's going to happen, know what's going on. But they're doing it for their own self-serving reasons, okay? And so they must be able to see your success or see what it is that you're trying to do, trying to build, trying to have, and they're trying to block it. So if, even if you're not with someone, right? Maybe you have a soulmate coming in. You may be single. You have a soulmate coming in. This person already sees it. They already know. This person is very gifted. This person is very gifted, but they work for the dark. They don't do things for the highest good of all. They do things for themselves. This is an abuse of power. You're not supposed to be I could do that too. But if I do that, that's me being dark. That's not me using my light. We all have these gifts, but it's how we use it. This person is using it for their, they're abusing their own powers. And they know this. They're very powerful. They are. We won't take that away from them. But this is what they're doing. So you may be thinking like, well, I'm single. What are you talking about? They're trying to plot against me and my relationship. Yeah. Mm hmm so, but keep shining, okay? Keep shining, keep showing your light, keep on your path. You are protected, you are divinely guided. You, you stay on the path for the highest good for all. No abuse of power, no selfishness, no darkness. Following the higher power, okay? Working for the highest good for all, using your light, shining your light, shining it bright. Because the more you shine your light, this person can't take that because they're dark. So they're not going to be able to take it. And you're just going to shine right through being who you are. Not being dark, but shining for the light. Okay? You are protected. You are protected. Walking your protection. Calling your protection. Your spiritual team. This is why you needed to know this. So you can move and act accordingly. So I really hope that helps, Paul, too. Thank you all so much for being here. If no one told you that they love you today, I love you. Thank you so much. Please like the video. Share the video. Subscribe. Join the Capital LOV tribe. Comment below. Let me know if this resonated. If you don't want to say how it resonated, please just drop a red heart. I will be so grateful for that. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next reading. Hi, Pal 3. Welcome to your reading. Thank you all so much for being here with me today. Welcome back to the Capital LOVE tribe. Thank you all so much. I'm so grateful to have you here. I'm so grateful for all of the love and support. Thank you so much. I appreciate all of you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I hope you're well, Pal 3. Let's get into your reading. So you chose high honor. Okay, so who's plotting against pile three? Sorry. So this person could be someone, I'm hearing an ex or someone who, um, with the courthouse here, someone you had some type of legal situation with. Um, I'm hearing it could be an ex. It could be someone who you divorced. It could be someone, a business partner. It could be... Um, I'm hearing landlord. Um, and I'm also hearing family member, okay? It's someone who you have some type of legal situation with. Whether this is like, you know, charges or court case or court situation, suing, you know, something like that, okay? This person, so this could be a man or a woman. I'm not getting like specific energy here, masculine or feminine. I'm getting both. For some of you, this could be a parent, or it could be a sibling, or again, it just could have been someone you have some type of legal situation with. This person is very um, vengeful. They're vindictive, okay? They don't like the fact that you took them to court or there were some type of charges that were pressed or... Um, yeah, charges that were pressed, like maybe you took charges against them or 
whatever the situation or something with dealing with the court situation, they don't appreciate that. For some of you, it's like child support, a child support case or a divorce or it's just been a long drawn out situation, okay, in and out of court, trying to resolve, you know, situations, but everything has been happening in court or, you know, the court system had to get involved or the court system is getting involved in this because for some of you, this is like domestic, you know, this could be a former spouse or something like that. And this person is just very in a vengeful place. They're very much in a place of they want revenge. They don't appreciate having to go through the legal system or having to get the legal system involved. Even if it was their idea, they're regretting, like even if they're the ones that took you to court, okay? It's like, I guess they had it in their mind that it was just going to be easy or they had it in their mind that it wasn't going to involve drama or whatever. Whatever it is that they had in their mind, I feel like they thought it was going to be smooth sailing. But maybe you are, you know, challenging them. Maybe, you know, you're not making it as easy for them as they thought it would be. You're challenging them on things. So this person is very angry. They're very bitter. They're very resentful. They feel like, you know, how dare you? How dare you do this? How dare you do that? You don't have the right to do this. You don't have the right. Like this person is very controlling. This person wants to be in control. This person wants to have all of the say. They want to be in control of every part. They feel very entitled. They feel very much like you shouldn't be saying or doing anything you know this person feels like you owe them they feel like you're the one that should be bowing down and going with the flow of everything and letting them be in control this person is very angry this person is feeling very very i can't even talk this person is feeling very bitter at the fact that you're challenging them they feel very challenged they feel very threatened. This person feels like you know secrets on them or you have secrets on them. They're afraid of being exposed. They're afraid of you exposing them and their family or something like that. Or maybe this is your family. I don't know. But maybe they're afraid of, okay, for some of you, they're afraid of you exposing them to the family or exposing the family secrets, okay? They're definitely afraid of exposure. They don't know. I'm hearing they feel like you're very unpredictable. Even if things come out in court, they don't want anything to come out in court. So even if it is like where other people may not know, but the people within the court house would know, they don't even want anything to come out. This person feels very bitter and angry. This person is stewing about this. Okay, they're very angry. They want to win at all costs. They want it to go their way. They're extremely controlling, extremely like this is going to be the way it's going to go. And they feel like you are ruining their plan. You are ruining anything that they have plotted out or thought or their plan. This person is very obsessed with their plan. Okay. I don't know, I just got stuffy all of a sudden. This person could be sick right now or having challenges with their health because I just got really stuffy and nasally. So this person, because this person's holding on to a lot of anger. They're holding on to a lot of bitterness. This person feels a lot of bitterness towards you. They feel like um, they just want you out of their way. I'm hearing out of sight, out of mind. They want this to be done. They don't want you in their way. They don't want you stopping them from whatever it is that they're trying to do. They feel like you're plotting against them. For some of you, this person feels like you are trying to attack them. They feel very attacked by you. Um, I'm hearing that, you know, <sighs> okay. This person feels like this person's holding on to a lot of anger. Okay, this person has a lot of anger. I'm not saying that they're right, you're right, I don't know. But this person has a lot of anger. So they have this plan for themselves and they feel like you are completely disrupting their plan. And they want you to move out the way and go along with what they have, what they want, whatever's happening in this legal situation, so they can continue their life and their plan. And they feel like you are disrupting this. They're very angry with you right now. And they, I'm getting ready to get into what are they trying to do, but I'm, I'm just feeling like 
what they're trying to plot is a way to get you to go along with their plan. So they're be, they're going to be manipulative. They're going to, um, like let's just say for instance, this person may not have been talking to you. Now they may try to talk to you. And it's really to get you to get on board with their plan. They don't really, they may not, like if this is an ex or whatever the situation is, this person, they may tell you, okay, let's start talking or okay, let's be back together. Something like that. They're going to tell you whatever they feel like that you need to hear in order to get on board with their plan. That's basically what this is. Like they're going to try to manipulate because they want, they want whatever this legal situation or this court case, whatever, they want this to be done and over with now. This person has like a lot of urgency. It's something that they're trying to do. It's a lot of urgency here. I'm feeling a lot of pressure up in here. I don't know if it's something with business, money, I don't know. But this person wants to do something moving forward and they feel like this is really holding things up. And this is disrupting their life goals and their plan. Um, I don't know, this person has some type of plan, okay? Let's find out some more. What are they plotting against? Yeah, this person is very, okay, this person is very determined. They have their eye on the prize. They're watching you very closely. They're watching your social media. They're taking notes. Uh, for some of you, they have a private investigator on you, okay? Um, that's how serious this is. This person has private investigator investigators on you, more than one. They have people watching you very closely. This person, for some of you, is trying to dig up some type of dirt whatever it is that they feel like if you have secrets or you have dirt on them they're trying to build this case because this person is they're creating an arsenal i just heard that they're creating an arsenal here so they can have things ready to you know for court to push against you i don't know why i'm at a loss for words this person it's like I just blanked out. That was so strange. It's like I didn't know what to say. This person, you know, this person is very, this person is really angry. Like this person is angry. They are very angry. They feel like you've ruined their life because we have the tower here. It's like they feel like you have destroyed a lot of things in their life. They feel like um, you've destroyed their reputation or you're trying to destroy their reputation. This person is very bitter. They feel like, you know, you have done so much to try to ruin their life, to ruin who they are, to ruin their reputation. I'm not saying this is true. I'm just tapping into these, you know, this collective energy here and this is how this person feels. It's like they just want you out the way. That's what I'm feeling. Like, whatever this is, they want you out the way. They feel like you are disruptive and they need you removed. They need you gone. Completely out of their way. They're trying to do something. Like, they're, they are on a mission right now. They are, like, laser focused. So it's something that they're trying to do. Okay? And you are in the way of whatever it is that they're trying to do. So now they're like, they need you out the way, but they also want some of your money. So for some of you, like I said, this could be child support, or this could be an ex, a divorce, or whatever this legal situation is, a business partner, they want some money. Whatever it is that they're trying to do, they need some of your money to do this, okay? But they're trying to do something, they're very laser focused. But it's basically like their plan, this plan that they have, they can't move forward until this is over with. So right now they have a lot of urgency. Right now, they're like, this needs, this court case, this battle, it needs to end because this is holding them up from their life. That's what I'm hearing. This is completely holding them up from moving forward in their life. They're very bitter. They're very resentful. They have a lot of anger toward you. Um, you know, just don't, this person, I'm not getting like dark, evil energy. I'm not. I'm just getting like, they feel like you're in the way. And you've already caused enough damage in their eyes. In their eyes, you cause enough pain. You cause enough drama. You cause them enough issues. They just want to be out 
of this situation and they want to move you out the way even if they have been like an issue in the past like maybe they held things up or maybe they were the ones playing games or you know what i'm saying they were doing stuff now they feel differently they just want this to be over with so this person has been taking time to make a plan okay this person has come up with a plan they've been taking time alone they've been kind of laying low or going on maybe they went on a vacation they've been coming up with a plan for some of you they come up with a plan with a trusted best friend or a mother or something like that yeah i'm hearing mother they've come up them you know this person whoever's or a trusted business partner they've come up with a plan at this point and this plan is to hurry up and get out of this court case and get you out the way. But I don't see them trying to do this in a dark way. But you take what resonates. Because this card is kind of dark. So, you know, you take what resonates. But they definitely are watching you. They're watching you very closely. Anything you post on social media, they are watching. They're taking notes, screenshots. Um, they have private a private investigator on you so if it's a situation where you're saying you don't have this money or you're hiding money whatever they have people on you okay we have here knight of wands again this person has a lot of fire up under them they have a lot of passion they're going to get this done they're they're basically like very motivated and it's again this is very urgent they're not playing any games. They have a plan at this point. I'm hearing in the past they really didn't have a plan. They were just kind of feeling like you were going to go along with the plan. Whatever this thing is in court, they felt like you were just going to go along with it and move things along. But it's not happening like that. Again, they feel like you're being very disruptive. So they have to hurry up and get you out the way. Okay? Now you may be feeling like, well, that is a plot against me. It is, but... I don't see them doing it. I'm not seeing dark. I'm just kind of seeing like part of the plan. They feel like you're going to hang yourself. That's really what it is. They feel like you're your own worst enemy. Like you, you know how to sabotage yourself all by yourself. So this is what they feel. So they feel like by watching you, your every move, you know, they're watching everything. Like I said, they have a private, many of you, this person, I mean, you know, whoever these people are, they have private investigators here. So they feel like you're gonna hang yourself. So that's basically what it is. Like you just have to watch the way you move and, you know, being honest and forthright because they feel like their plan is basically you're gonna, you're gonna do something self-sabotage yourself. And it's gonna be like, in, in court they're going to present this and then the case closed that's what i'm getting okay yeah okay so this is okay they want you to basically is this distance horizons whatever this is again they want this to be over with because they're ready to move forward they're ready to move forward with their life they're ready to move on they feel stuck okay and this stuck energy they created again they created a plan to get this going and to get this out the way and moving forward and they feel like it's going to leave you in despair for some of you this person wants you to be in despair like i said they want you to they have a lot of bitterness and resentment toward you and anger so even if they're saying that they want the best for you really they want you in despair they want you hurt and i know that that's painful it's painful, especially if this is an ex or a parent or something like that, or a trusted business partner. You know, you have love for this person. And it's hurtful to hear that this person really doesn't wish you well, that they really want you sad. But that's the energy that I'm getting. Like, they really, this person may be saying one thing, but they really want you sad. They really want you, um, they want you to feel the pain. They want you to feel the pain that they feel, or the bitterness or the anger. Or they don't want you to be happy, okay, even if they're saying that. They want you to be in despair. And for some of you, they want to take a lot of your money. Okay, they want to take a lot of your money and they want to leave you in a place of, they want to move away victorious, happy, and moving forward in their journey and leave you broke, sad, and in despair. So for some of you, if this is like a divorce, they want to move forward with like a new relationship or focus on in on their new life focusing on their new journey. Whatever this is, this is like them moving to their next chapter, them moving forward in a new journey. 
whatever it is that you're trying to do the next you know the next part of their journey that's their focus right now okay we have two more yeah so it's like for some of you this person could be having health problems or they could want you to have health problems like for some of you i'm not gonna lie this person is wishing for you to be sad down and out I don't know why this person doesn't want me to talk. This person could be wanting you to be sad, down and out. I feel like this person doesn't want me to say this because they've been telling you like they want the best for you. But no, they really want you in despair, resentment, angry. Like they don't really want for you to thrive and do well, okay? They're saying that, but it's not true. But this is honestly what I see here with this case. It's going to be a gift for both sides because whatever it is that's going to happen with the situation, it's going to happen for both of you. Like if this was a business partner or marriage or whatever, maybe, it, you know, maybe the contract was up on this situation or maybe right now you and this person are just not supposed to be together anymore or whatever the situation is. I don't know, but with this gift here, I just feel like this is going to be it's going to be great and agreeable for both sides, okay? That's that's the energy that I'm getting. That is actually not going to, it's actually going to be a blessing for both, for everyone involved. This is going to be a blessing. And however that's going to play out, even though this person is wishing this and that for you, it's not going to play out like that. You know, you're going to be victorious and this person will be victorious. It's going to work out for everyone. That's the energy that I'm getting. I mean, I could be wrong, but I'm definitely getting that energy like it's going to work out for everyone. But this person wants it to go their way and they want it to go their way very quickly. Like I'm hearing very fast, like whatever this person is, they want to, this person is trying to do, they want things to be done quick because they're trying to do something big. Okay, so let's get some messages for you. Yeah, so this is, okay, willing release. So I feel like this is about, this is about the situation. You're going to have to, you're being asked to release this. Release this to the higher power, to the universe, and trust in this path, and trust where this energy is moving, and trust where this is going. And this has been a situation where this has been tough. This has been challenging for you. You're being asked to let it go, surrender, and take action and do what you're told to do and trust that this is for the highest good for you and everyone involved. Even if it is hurtful to break up or let this go, trust this journey and trust this process. That's what you're being asked to do. And you may have to, you know, this may be about releasing this person and releasing the connection that you and this person had. But this is about endless possibilities. You have endless possibilities coming in, miracles coming in, so many things. I'm hearing from many of you, this may seem like a huge loss right now, but at the end of the day, it's really not. It's just a part of your journey, a part of your story, and you have so much more coming in. So keep having faith. If this is a marriage, keep having faith that if you want to be married, you will find someone else to connect with, to marry, and it will be beautiful and it will be great, okay? If this is a parent relationship or business partner or whatever, relationships can reconcile, even if it's a spouse. Relationships can reconcile. You and this person can reconcile later on. But right now, maybe the separation is for the best for everyone. But just keep believing in the endless possibilities of anything can happen. And a merry motive. Like, again, I feel like this person, they're very motivated right now. They have a serious motive here, okay? And their motive is driving them. I'm feeling like it's money. Some type of money here that they're motivated by. This person loves money, okay? They love money a lot. So something here with money that's a motivating factor because this person loves money. They are obsessed with money. They can't be without money. They're very consumed with the material world. This person is very obsessed with the material world, with money, with things, and the, you know, the aesthetics and the look and how, how they're presented to everyone else and their image. They're very concerned about their image, very image conscious and focus and this is why I was saying if you have things that you know about them they're very afraid that you're going to expose them 
This person is very afraid, so they are very motivated to hurry up and wrap this up because they don't want to be exposed. So if no one told you that they love you today, I love you. Thank you all so much for being here with me today. I hope this message helps. Please like the video, share the video, comment below. Let me know how this resonated. If you don't want to say how this resonated, drop a red heart and I would greatly appreciate it. Um, subscribe, join the Capital LLB tribe. Thank you so much and I'll see you in the next reading.